Alright. We're now back on the main path. I, I sped that up so you guys didn't have to watch me run all the way back through that area. Let's see what's in here. Uh. Lady Comstock, how lovely to see you. Wonderful of you to make the journey, especially considering your painful death 19 years ago. Lady Comstock. The dress. The thing has mistaken me for my mother. Your fingerprints do not seem to be your own today, Lady Comstock. Are you unwell? This isn't going to work. I think it can. Your mother's dead, Elizabeth. Yes. I think it's time I paid my respects. Let's head to where she's buried. Well, fuck. Well, there we go. That's why we had to go the way we went. Let's go fight a bunch of fucking people. I guarantee we're gonna have to fight a shitload of mobs. There's the yeah, yeah, yeah. My God damn fire. Fire hurts. Alright. We got this shit, son. Where are you going? Come on. What are we looking for? Maybe we won't have to fight a bunch of people. Go ahead. Okay. It's your mother's grave. They have her preserved in an airtight chamber. Her fingerprints will get us into Comstock House. She's your mother. The mother who abandons their child doesn't draw a lot of sympathy in my book. Take a moment to think about what you're doing. There. Will you open the door or do I have to go in without you? Mother, all locked up in there, huh? Looks like you and I have some common ground. Let me do it. No. Let me do it. You see, child, you chose to follow a false shepherd, and he has led you astray. Hold on, you need to rest for a minute. No, I'm getting that hand. Elizabeth, why is your mother a ghost? She's not. He he used me to, to power that device. He opened up some kind of tear. What the fuck? Shit, man. Need this. 
Thanks. Oh my god. What am I? My god. Is she the source of my power? But what is she? Alive or dead? Why do you ask what? The delicious question is when. The only difference between past and present is semantics. Lives, lived, will live. Dies, died, will die. If we could perceive time as it truly was, what reason would grammar professors have to get out of bed? Like us all, Lady Comstock exists across time. She is both alive and dead. She perceives being both. She finds this condition disagreeable. Perception without comprehension is a dangerous combination. Look! Footsteps. She goes to unfinished business. I have to follow her. Convince her to open the gate of the Comstock house. And they're gone. Well, now I have no ammo. Uh, let's see if... Whoa, what was that? Check out. Is that a shotgun? Heater? Medical kits? Nothing I need. Need fucking ammo. Oh, there's some shotgun ammo. There we go. There you go. Repeater. Sweet. Fuck it, I'll rock I'll rock this for now. It's a shame you have need of her to enter Comstock House. Frankly, she doesn't seem all that cooperative. There is a way to bring her to reason. Three truths you must discover first. Truths which, in this world, Comstock has destroyed. If only one of you had the power to alter time and space. That would be a blessing, wouldn't it? Hmm. Well, they're sarcastic. There's something off about Lady Comstock. Yeah, I notice. No, you don't understand. She... She doesn't belong here. I brought something through. I'm just... I'm not so sure it was her. Locked. Elizabeth? Looks easy enough. All yours. It's a tear. There's something in there. Should I open it? Sure, open that shit up. But you two are hit. I took your funeral photo. Yes, I made an absolute hash of it. One doesn't expect a picture of one's cause. It's come across so lifelessly. What did you mean before when you said Lady Comstock didn't belong here? She's almost feral. It's like she's a reflection of... Oh. I don't know. That's insanity. What proof would you have that Mr. Fink would hurt the Lutesses? The Lutesses told me. The Lutesses? When? Yesterday. Yesterday morning. Rupert! They've been dead these seven days. Well, I guess this area does have a use. Is that pointing me downstairs? Shit, I didn't even see that. Done. 
Well, fuck, I found something that I didn't see the first time. I had trapped the atom in mid-air. Colleagues called my Lutes field quantum levitation. But in fact, it was nothing of the sort. Magicians levitate. My atom simply failed to fall. If an atom could be suspended indefinitely, well, why not an apple? If an apple, why not a city?